Hello crafty friends. Today we're traveling to Goodwill for the road trip thrift flip and we are in Kansas. I'm going to show you what I'm going to flip, how much it cost. So for our first DIY, I'm going to use gray skies and blue hills from JRV Cottage Colors. I'm going to mix the two together because blue hills is a little too vibrant for me. Didn't know if this combo was going to be good because as I started mixing it, I was like, mm, I don't know about this. These do have built-in sealers, so I don't have to worry about sealing my projects, which was my whole goal here was to take a step out. All right, so I mixed it, and I'm sorry I did not show you this entire like cross, but I think you guys get the picture. It is ginormous, and it was orange and looked so outdated. So I got my chip brush and I started putting a coat. I thought I was going to need two, but I only needed one of those. I'm going to push those bristles into all of those details and I'm going to work my way up. Now, you guys, this is this cross is going to show you that seriously, just some paint will completely transform an outdated thrift piece for you. After I am done painting that, I'm going to go in with white linen and I'm going to dry brush instead of waxing. So when you are dry brushing, you're essentially just dipping a little bit of your brush into that paint and then completely basically wiping it off. You could see on the napkin on the right that I am wiping my brush off on that napkin and then I'm going over. So when you dry brush, your paint is setting on top of the details. Whereas when you wax, your wax is sitting inside the details and then it's buffed out on like the sides. So this was such an easy way of bringing out the details in the cross. It was also a way that I did not have to seal it because I was using the JRV Cottage Color in White Linen and this turned out gorgeous. I paid $3.99 for this at Goodwill. And you can see this thing is heavy duty. It is so big, but I feel like this was completely transformed from a very outdated piece. And now it's a piece that most people would be able to fit into their home decor very easily. This next one was $2.99. This one was like a gamble. I was like, hmm. We're just gonna have fun and play around with different elements. So this looks like somebody hand made it for sure. I'm going to get the staples and I'm gonna bend all those back. I'm gonna take out the bottom like cork piece and I will take out that top fabric piece. I'm gonna use that extra paint from our first DIY because I do not waste anything. I'm gonna paint the front and I do paint the back of it because it looked like whomever painted it before, it was just kind of like a messy job and I would like to resell it. So we're gonna do it right. And I am going, look at this, look at that color. I just wanted to show, it actually looks really good. Those two colors mixed together. Now I'm gonna grab that cork piece that was in there and I'm going to get crinoline and paint over it. I knew I wanted to put a fabric over here over it and I didn't know what color it was gonna be. So I just wanted to make sure it was light and it was clean in case anything showed through. So we're gonna let that completely dry and then I end up going with my pillowcase. Um, if you've been with me any amount of time, then I love repurposing these. I always uh, change them out on my couch and then I repurpose them when I'm crafting. So I cut that down to size and then I use this spray adhesive you guys, this stuff is so old and it was from Dollar Tree and needless to say, it did not work <laughs> whatsoever. So I ended up flipping it around and I'm gonna use hot glue and I'm going to pull very tightly onto this fabric. You do not want any give on this cork board. I did the other end and then on the sides, I'm gonna tuck in the corners and then do the same thing again pull as tight as you can. Anytime you do this to like a cork, because if somebody's pushing in and out with pins, you do not want that fabric bowing and getting loose and ugly looking. All right, now we're gonna go into the pastiche stamp, you guys. This is Gorga. 
at the time of filming, I have four of these left and then I will be, uh, I already reordered. So more will come by the end of next week. So if you go on my website and heart the item, it will notify you when I put it back in stock. So this is where I'm just kind of having fun and being creative with it. And I used all of my masks in the stamp set to kind of lay out my vision. Now I'm gonna get the stamps and I'm gonna take my stamp mount, ink it up with some black permanent ink from IOD. Now, whenever you're stamping on fabric, you want to put a heavier coat of that ink on because it's going to absorb into your fabric. And then I'm gonna grab my brayer and I'm gonna push that stamp into my fabric. And this comes out so well, let's see the reveal. Ooh, there we go. So many cloches and bird cages in this stamp set. It is fire. So now I'm just going to add little elements that are also in this stamp set inside the cloches. I will say that the top one, I added this bird nest and it had a lot of fine details in it and it ended up just looking like a blob. But you know, you, you live and you learn and somebody will put, you know, a little note over that and it'll be fine. So I clean all my stamps off with a baby wipe. I put them back on and then we are going to go ahead and put that back into its spot. I'm gonna now start working on that top piece. So I am taking this piece of decoupage paper from the Butterfly Master Board. And I thought it was perfect because um, if you see that hand down there, it's holding a pen, like it's taking notes. And it's also the same color blue that we used on the frame. So I am going to take that liquid patina and I'm gonna put it all over and then push it down with my plastic wrap. Now there was some kind of like film on this like piece of cardboard and my corners would not stick. So I ended up having to get out a glue stick and gluing the corners down that way. I cut the excess off around and then I'm gonna put another light coat of liquid patina on top. I'm then gonna grab this mold from IOD that I made with resin and I'm gonna give it two coats of crinoline. Now I'm gonna grab my apothecary stamps, you guys. These are one of my favorites that came in the new release. I am out of stock, but again, they will be in stock next week. Again, I ordered a lot of them. I'm gonna take those little letters, ink them up. I'm gonna place them on. You're welcome for my dandruff view. You are so, so welcome. And I'm gonna push that down and you guys look. I like got all excited. I was like, yes, this came out perfect. The font looks perfect for what it's going on. Now I'm going to get our little resin mold and I'm gonna stick that in the middle of the top. And I thought this was perfect. There's so many different elements going on here. And you know, I don't know if it goes, but I like it. And that's really all that matters when you are crafting and hopefully reselling it. There's somebody else that looks at it the same way that I do. So let's see this all put together. Again, I do not have to put a sealer on that paint because it's built in. And this is how it turned out. Look at how pretty, like even the decoupage paper, I love how the hand with the pen just ties perfectly in. I just pinned a little piece of paper to this and you see the cloches with the florals. There's a butterfly in there, the feathers. I, I love it. It's, it's a little quirky and different, but you know, we gotta have fun with our thrift flips, right? Hey everyone, how are you enjoying this video so far? I am always excited to do the thrift, thrift flip rub drop, always talk. Okay. Hey, you guys, just checking in. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Sammy, and today I am doing the road trip thrift flip with the crafting cousins. The playlist for this is going to be linked down in the description box for you. Tons of other creators uh, join in on this playlist. So if you are looking for some new content, some new inspiration, definitely check out the playlist and check out the cousins. They are absolutely fabulous and the kindest people you'll ever meet. 
So you guys, you know the drill. If you're digging me, if you're digging the DIYs, if you're digging the channel, then make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. All of the products that you see me use in the video are offered on my website, unicorndustdesigns.com. And with that said, you guys, let's go ahead and finish up this thrift lip road trip video. I actually said that right without stuttering. Now this one, you guys. Okay, we're gonna go in with the Collage de Flores, and I do have this one still in stock. The flowers in here are gorgeous, and I had this metal piece. You guys are gonna have to tell me what this is. I paid $3.99 for it at Goodwill. I had no idea what it was, but I knew that I could do an easy flip on it. I'm going to take uh, one of the florals. Uh, all I did was clean the surface. I did not like prep it with anything. And the transfers have some tack to it. So once you lay it down, you just press it and it'll stick. It's not gonna be like tape. It just has like a little tack where it'll kind of hold its place, um, but you still have to hold on to it. So I am going to start from the back side, working my way up around those edges. And I'm gonna push down as I lift up. Now, what I like doing is, I actually pull up my transfer to where the image is still actually like on the paper. And this way, when I'm pushing down with my transfer stick, I know that the image is releasing. Hopefully you're picking up what I'm putting down. So I got into the book and I did try other colors like to see if I wanted to mix it up, but I stuck with with these i thought they were so gorgeous and they are so detailed it look it literally looks like these were painted onto this piece and we have to seal the transfer so i'm taking big top and i'm going to seal those up all the way around and then we are left with this beautiful piece of home decor don't these flowers look like they were painted on and it looks so good on top of that metal. If you guys know what this is, let me know. You guys saw the clip on the back of it. I'm thinking it clips to a fence, but I'm not sure. But I hope you guys got inspired. This was a way of showing you just how easy it is to upcycle and repurpose thrift finds and how to update them. And you guys make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I appreciate you. You guys. I totally filmed all three of the videos for this week. Um, this baby is getting big. Yeah, I'm wearing pajama bottoms too, okay? I'll, I'll get there today somewhere. But baby's getting big, healthy. Tomorrow, actually, this will be Thursday. Uh, we are going to go to get our ultrasounds, the one like that's like the thorough one where they tell you like, you know, everything's good and they go over the spine and all of that stuff and usually tell you the gender of the baby, but we're not finding that out. So, uh, that's going to be really hard, but it is good. I am good. I hope you guys have been doing good. I hope you guys are filled with inspiration and you guys are able to craft. I appreciate you all being here with me all the time. Um, I have my ride or dies. You guys are like awesome. And then I know that if you're joining my channel for the first time that you are going to be a part of that group and the OGs. Okay. So have a good day, you guys. Bye. And that's like the profile. Oh, the his hands moving. Is one on top of his head and like one's on his chest? Mm -hmm. Thank you.